Usually when I go mushroom hunting, I like to go pretty deep into the bush and we will hike uh, pretty decent lengths to get into some good mushrooms way up into the middle of nowhere. But right now we're literally on the highway. So you can see this car is raging behind me right here into the woods off of the side of this highway. I found an absolutely excellent place to hunt for chanterelles, kind of a little secret cubby. We're gonna go in there and see what we can find. And I already see some indicator species. These right here are a type of Amanita mascara. I'm not sure the exact type. It might not be Amanita mascara. It might just be some type of mascara, but those are the red mushrooms you see with the bright white spots on top. I have seen those right here specifically, and people love those. You can eat them if you process them right. And uh, the hippies uh, turn them into some kind of hallucinogen. I've never messed with uh, Amanita mascara. I probably never will. Um, even if it gets you high in a cool way, not my bag of tea because it also kills you sometimes. We're at a spot that we kind of call our own little gem, but for mushroom picking. Ugh. Whoa, uh-oh. Oh man, I hope that's not a fresh hole in my waders. Asher just tore his waders. But anyway, we're about to plow through some brush here. Get back to some chanterelle honey holes. Every once in a while you'll find some decent ones in mixed in this zone. But once we get back in here, it's gonna be off the chain. So we'll click it back on once we get through this maze of Oregon rainforest. We just came from all of that gnarly thick brush really was gnarly and thick and then all of a sudden we popped out into this beautiful little clearing and Chris says we just walk this road that way and we'll run into mushrooms there's a bunch of uh, elk trail back here too I haven't jumped the whole herd yet but I'm sure one day we're gonna come back here and... yep all right we're almost in it there it is all right couple nice ones right here. Here I'll show you. Here's one poking out of the ground. Nice. Whoa! Look at all of these absolutely gorgeous little chanterelles. Couple gangsters up Way there. to bring us to a really money spot, Chris. Yeah. He wasn't lying, he wasn't joking. It was a collaboration. A long due process. That's right. I guess I brought you here yeah. and then you found this. And we're not even in it. This is this doorstep. These these are some of my absolute favorite types of chanterelles, you guys. These beautiful little golden buttons, right? Because these just go perfect in a sauce or in a soup or in a saute. Like that's a mushroom that you can put whole into a serving and it's they're just so perfect and pretty. And look at this whole little collection. Look, this one splits. That is a super cool little mushroom. These perfect little buttons like this is what you call number ones. These are the kind of mushrooms that you could sell to a restaurant for a really good price. These are essentially perfect little chanterelles. And there's so many of them. They're so uniform. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at that little pile just in this one spot and it's pretty cool. I don't know how well you guys can see all the way down this little path, but there's little pockets of gold scattered all the way down along it. There's actually quite a lot of them. Look at this whole little zone right here. We're gonna go ahead and just take this little stack, set them in our basket here, and we're gonna harvest the rest of these little buttons. So this, is an itty bitty little baby chanterelle. And here's a couple that are a little bit larger. This one is what you would call a button. It's got a nice little, little pocket to it. And then even though this is a different type of chanterelle, this is a white chanterelle and these ones are gold, you can see when they get bigger, the golds will do this also. They'll spread all the way out. You'll be able to see still the gills run all the way down the stalk and they fan out into this kind of, um, you know, funnily shape, a uh, trumpety shape, even though these are different than trumpet mushrooms. These are chanterelles. Um, the smaller ones, like these little buttons, just like this guy right here, 
they have almost a little bit more traditional cartoony classic mushroom shape and still underneath running down there's no uh, ring that stops the gills from running down the stock that's one of the ways that you can tell if it's in the chanterelle family these are perfect beautiful little mushrooms i am stoked i'm gonna harvest all of these real quick so you can see here's a couple of slightly larger ones sometimes they get kind of a weird shape to them like I was saying, when they get bigger, they start to continue to trump it out, kind of. And you can see here's a perfect example of an in-between, one of those little buttons, like this, and starting to get just a little bit bigger before it turns into something that looks more like this, you know. But this one's white, again. It's pretty damn fire up inside of here. We found absolutely killer mushroom grounds and there's mushrooms everywhere. And Chris keeps saying, bro, you're not even where the good ones are. You're blowing it. He keeps telling me, I'm not even where the good mushrooms are yet. I'm blowing it and I gotta go over where he is. So I'm making my way over there but I can't get there yet because every time I get close, I run in to a few more mushrooms because they are literally everywhere right now. So Chris says that he's in the Valley of Gold. Definitely. So let's go check out Chris's Valley of Gold real quick. Right now I can only see that corner and this corner. Wow. But. So Chris wasn't wrong. <laughs> Look right in here. Chanterelles, 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 chanterelles. Right over in here. Chanterelles up in there. Chanterelles, chanterelle mushroom, chanterelle mushroom, chanterelle mushroom, chanterelles. Look at this. Look at them everywhere. Look back behind us. Here's a bunch. Over there on the ground, there's a bunch. Right in there, there's a bunch. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty unreal. I'm gonna go up in here and grab these ones real quick. You know, most of the time I'd be hunting in strictly old growth patches, but this is all some new growth stuff, which, uh, you know, it's been here for a little while. Um, but there's chanterelles everywhere. Like, you don't even need to look very far and you're finding them, boom, boom, boom. A couple there, whole patch right there. Kind of looking for these massive ones that are still shaped nicely. Um, you know, there's a couple nice ones right in here. This one's not too bad, but uh, this actually, this area makes for easy hunting because look, there's nothing on the ground except chanterelles. There's not, you know, yellow leaves will mess with your head, make you think it's a chanterelle. Um, so I don't know, this, this spot we got is just a producing gold mine. So these chanterelles right here do look a bit past their prime, but Oh, but look at the size of this white chanterelle. What a beast. We've got um, two types of chanterelles here in Oregon. We might even have more. I know of two different types that we have. We have gold and we have white. And these are white. And this one right down here is probably not too slimy. Yeah, so there's still some slime in the top of this. This mushroom is just past its prime but you can see the gill structure underneath is still really pretty intact in quality. This one's, look, it's got real beautiful, perfect gills. So both of these are gonna be a go to eat. So Asher was talking about, you know, the food side of things and how the smaller mushrooms are more gourmet because they look better on a plate. They fit in with food nicer. Um, but there's something to be said about the big giant ones, how they just, dude, it's so crazy how some of them grow. 
So obviously you can see pine needles all around this one. It's got a pretty nice cone on it. I don't want to disturb it too much because I'm going to leave it here. It looks a little slimy. But just the geometric craziness going on with these. That's my favorite part. All right, I'm going to get in here. This little pocket of chanterelles. That's a beautiful, perfect little mushroom. Just set this one down. We can go for these bigger ones. Oh, and look, there's another nice big, big one buried behind that one. Look at that. That one was completely buried in leaves and stuff. That's another really nice mushroom. Wow. Wow. Cleaning off your mushrooms um, right when you get them is real nice. It's kind of important. If you leave too much gunk and mud and pine needles and stuff in there, it'll cause them to degrade and soften up a lot quicker. A little bit's not too bad. This is fine. You know, there's going to be some dirt. There's going to be some pine needles and some, some mud and some leaf debris in there. But as much as you can clean off, you just run your thumb along the top through some of those little pockets. You can see this one's a little past its prime. You know, it's juicing a little. See that liquid coming out the bottom and a little bit of rubberness to it. But this whole half of it over here is going to be totally solid. So we're going to go ahead and keep this one too. And there's one more good one down in this pit. And this one is almost perfect. It's a little bit slimy because there's a lot of rain coming down right now. It's been pretty wet out here, but get a little bit of that off the top and look at how nice and clean that underside still is. So we're going to go ahead and throw all these in the basket and go find another patch. I'm sure there's a whole lot more right around here somewhere. So I'm right over here. So as we're walking through the woods here, we just keep finding new patches and being like, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, look at that. They're pretty insane. So I'm just gonna show you this other patch we found right here inside of the Valley of Gold. Right here is some chanterelles. These are all beautiful number ones. Here's a few more just past them. Here's a few more over here. Look, here's some stacks. Look, here's chanterelles. Beautiful number ones. Look, here's some chanterelles. Check beautiful chanterelles. Beautiful chanterelles. Chris just found a couple some of monsters. monsters. They're the still nice really too. Trumpeting out like that. Be real careful as you walk through right here, bro, because there's, there's literally more chanterelles right here than there is ground. Look, more chanterelles, more chanterelles, right. more chanterelles, more chanterelles. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to harvest all these real quick. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is carve myself a little island to sit on. And then I'm gonna pile these mushrooms all right here. So you take that cut, that cut, that cut. This is absolutely insane. Beautiful little pocket right here. This little area used to be super thick with them but we cleaned it out and just outside of your vision along the tree line, it's still super thick. It's, there's so many, it's unbelievable. Chris is still back in there harvesting them right now. I can see nice ones all around us. Um, yeah, Chris is still back in there harvesting right now and I can see really nice mushrooms still like there's another one, there's another one. Um, it's pretty unreal. This pile right here is an insane pile of mushrooms. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw it all inside this basket now. We're just gonna get it scooted over. We'll take a look at the overall haul. Um, I've been mushroom picking for a long time, you guys. You know, my dad took me mushroom picking when I was a kid. I've been out here salmon fishing and living in these woods most of my life. And um, I can't say that this is the best chanterelle picking I've ever experienced. There's been a few other days where it was just like hard to not step on them. But I think the consistency of these mushrooms being these perfect little buttons just one after another after another after another perfect chanterelles probably a few hundred of these little perfect ones um, I think that that's that's the best um, quality of mushrooms I found we've got a couple of bigger ones a couple of fall apart ones like like this is a monster right here and you find a lot of these these are really really nice 
But um, since I'm a chef, I work in restaurants, and the ones the restaurants want are those little buttons that you're able to mix into a saute or something like that, something like this. So where it's kind of hard to easily transform this into being a pretty little mushroom that somebody recognizes as a mushroom, these are so easy and perfect to do so with. And they're a little bit rarer. They're smaller. If we gave all of these a couple of weeks, they'd probably get big and turn into something that looked like this. But I really, really like these little perfect ones. And I've never seen... Right, the single biter. Um, yeah, the little single biters. And I've never seen um, a forest be so thick with these little ones. And it's not just that we came at the beginning of a run. We're, well, I mean, it is that we're coming at the beginning of a run. There's lots of older ones, too. We can see some that have died in the area that have yeah. been around for a bit. But just this last couple of weeks, there's been some sun and some rain and some sun. And something about that really kick-started these mushrooms. So all those little babies started to pop. And we just have so many of them here now. Yeah, get some of these bigger ones down below and then just stop. Wow, that's gonna be chunky. So we are cleaning house on mushrooms right now. Let me wipe the lens. Asher's down here getting the last bit from this little patch we found. But I think that's gonna be a wrap for us. I think we're gonna head out toward the car. We got that thing loaded. There's so many mushrooms I mean, around here still. We like, just, we're gonna give a bunch to the family and friends for we're, Thanksgiving. We're not even harvesting close to the available mushrooms here now. No, nah, we're we literally have passed up so many mushrooms. Um, but that just means we can come back and hit them. So, signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed everything we did today. Have a good one, you guys. Yeah, peace out. It was lots of fun. Hope you guys enjoy uh, this episode like we yeah. enjoyed this day. And the winter time in the Northwest. We got a lot of rainy days ahead. Yeah, a lot of rainy days so. ahead. So, uh, hopefully we can help keep you guys warm through some of those rainy days too, because a lot of you guys are out here in the Northwest with us. If you're somewhere tropical and Caribbean and beautiful, we're lucky. living vicariously <laughs> through you. Yeah, you're lucky. We like to get down there. But stay at it, tight lines, good luck. Um, I'm Asher Wren. I'm Chris Blanchard. You're watching the bike. Peace.